Um, obliterators. I'm still making up my mind about obliterators. I mean, they got what five points cheaper, but their leadership down went down to eight as a consequence. Um, and you're probably thinking, yeah, that's not that's not bad. Their obliterator weapons have changed. You can't use this. Yes, you gain an assault cannon now, so you've got an assault cannon as well now, which is brilliant. But you can't use the same weapon twice in a row. So turn one, you can use your las cannon. Turn two, you can't use your las cannon this turn. You, you can use another one, just not your las cannon. And I think that's really hurt them. Um, I mean, I know there's going to be ways around it. Um, if your opponent's a particularly a salty army, or if you can deep strike them, why you would ever do that, I don't really know, but... Then again, I did when I started, so... <laughs> because I thought it was hilarious hitting them between Link Flamers. Um, then I use them wrongly by using his combat troops, which is a limit mistake for that. Now we got, uh, now we got, uh, mutilators for that, so... But I'm still really undecided on them. Um, and then they can take the marks and whatnot. But apart from the Marcus Slanesh, which is completely pointless for them because they're always going to be strike initiative one, they're all really expensive. For example, the Mark of Zinch, just to up your save to four plus invulnerable, costs eight points per model. Ugh, ridiculous expensive. Veterans of the Long War, to give them preferred enemy of Space Marines and plus one leadership. Three points per model. Really expensive, they're getting. Um, Defilers got a hell of a lot more expensive. They went from 150 to 195. And I can see why. Um, they haven't changed much. Uh, they can't have th four Dreadnought Power Fists anymore. Or Dreadnought Close Combat Weapons. They can have three, but not four. Um, they can also have a Power Scourge. Which is a strength A, AP2 combat weapon, which um, I think does something to infantry who fight it, I think, or something like that. Um, if I can find it in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's got a flail rule, so um, you roll a D3 at the start of the big fight phase, and everybody in base contact with it loses that many weapon skill. And considering it's weapon skill 3, it's probably going to be hitting on 3s most of the time, thanks to that. Um, well, at least 4. At least its weapon skill be equal, so that it's not being hit on 3s. Um, otherwise, it's, it's okay. Um, it's got the Demon Forge rule, of course, and it's got Fleet, and it will not die. Um, 4 hull points, so it's it's tough to take down. Don't get me wrong, it's tough to take down. It's just I don't think it's as effective as it once was because of its higher points cost for effectively the same thing. Uh, we then got the Forge Fiend, and I am getting Forge Fiends. It can either take a pair of H Hades Autocannons, brilliant, or it can, take, it can replace those for Ectoplasma Cannons, which if you don't know what they are, they are, pla they are plasma cannons with a plus one strength. That is brilliant. Um, it can also take an additional one for 25, putting it up to two th 200 points. Um, I love them. Uh, the problem is the price, points cost. Um, the Maulafine is a lot more cheaper, 125. But uh, then again, the Maulafine doesn't have any additional any uh, ranged attacks. I mean, it's brilliant for taking down vehicles because of um, got two power fists. Um, it's got two magma cutters, which, if it's attacks hit, every magma cutter gets an additional attack, which is uh, strength at eight, AP one, uh, armor bane. Uh, but you have to actually hit your attacks. I think it says if all of your attacks hit, you get two per mag um, per magma cutter. So. Uh, which are all done at initiative 1, but when you're strength 10 anyway, most of the time the vehicles are going to be gone. Personally, I would go with the, uh, the Lasher Tendrils, which reduce anybody in base contact with it by 1. Although that is friendly units, 
you get two sets of them, so anybody in base contact with you loses two attacks. So practically everybody is attacking you with two, with just one attack. I think only people like Calgar and um, uh, who else? Um, Ragnar, Blackmane, people like that. Only they'll be attacking with more than more than one attack. And even then, most of them are striking after you. So, um, and then we got the Land Raider. Land Raider hasn't changed much at all. I think the only thing which has happened with the Land Raider is it's gone up by 10 points, as if it wasn't useless enough already. Um, it hasn't gained any transport capacity, which is what I really wanted it to do. Um, Vindicator... It's 120 points now for the exact same thing. And you can't take a demonic possession for it anymore. Well, I think you can, but... It, demonic Yeah, you can take demonic possession for it, I think. Because it's in the vehicle equipment. But demonic possession only uh, ignores shaken or stunned on a plus one, I think. On a two plus, I think it was. Um, let me double check that. See, I'm still getting used to codex. Actually, with the length of this video, I'm probably going to split it up into two. Um, or I might split it up in one if YouTube lets me. Probably going to have to go into two, though. Uh, demonic possession. Yeah, you... Uh, your ballistic skill down is down to three, same as it used to be. Um, Crew's stunned and shaken is ignored on a two plus. Embarked units are still affected. And then anybody with a transport capacity, basically, whenever anybody's embarking on a un on it, it's got a one in six chance of eating a guy and regaining a whole point. So it's nice, but... Ah... Uh, I can't really justify it for an extra 15, so taking out to basically 145 points. I mean, that's about... It's still cheaper than the Blood Angel one, and I can move 12 and still shoot it as a weapon. Um, and then you've got the Trustworthy Predator, who I don't think has changed a bit. Yeah, it's got the same equipment, same stats, etc., so... I think the Predator's the only thing which has remained untouched throughout this entire codex. Um, but ultimately, I actually really like this codex. Um, the psychic powers, because you've got all the psychic powers for them. Um, the Zinch ones, I love. However, the Nurgle ones are... Uh, okay. So, the... Plague Wind, their final one, is blooming fantastic, but it's a warp charge too, and you need to get a bit lucky with it. Whilst with the um, sort of the weapon virus, oh, I'm going to give you gets hot rule on a squad, uh, on a unit. Uh, and the gift of contagion, oh, I'm going to give you minus one strength, and you can't run. It's not that. It's okay, but it's not going to get away. The only good one is minus one strength and minus one toughness. Yeah, now I can shoot you to death with the toughness three marines. There's another one which is minor fly blown palsy or whatever it is. Uh, minus one attack and they're getting shrouded. If you're shooting a u unit at long range, you just make them harder to kill. Um, Slanesh ones are okay as well. Um, I don't actually like the Warp Charge 2 one. Um, but the Symphony of Pain, I like that. Minus one weapon skill, minus one blister skill. But if you've got Noise Marines, it's even better because now your Noise Marines are plus one strength with sonic weapons against them. So, um, you stop them hitting you and you can hit them harder. And then you've got Hysterical Frenzy, which is probably the one I gonna like a lot of the time which is literally a random buff to either initiative strength or attack that's always good Doombolt I love though and <laughs> I probably need to bring this uh, this uh, video to a wrap otherwise it's going to be a mile long uh, about an hour long of me just ranting so um, I'll see you later I will hopefully get some more um, videos done I know I've been slacking off quite a lot lately with what with the uh, 
me just starting college again. Um, but I'll try and get a you know, like slap scout slayer and whatnot out. Um, see if we can record a video. Um, I have also just seen the anniversary video on uh, Mini War Gaming. Um, I'm thinking I might do one of those for Christmas time if I can if I can get enough people around. Um, be a bit of fun with that one. Uh, don't know how I'm going to film it though, because that's going to be a pain. Because I can't film at my normal location because of legal reasons. So I'll I'll have to figure something out. Um, anyway, I will see you all next time.